Dating advice for Asian guys. Let's see what the internet said and maybe what we can all learn from it. Yeah, we got to talk about it, Andrew. The Reddit forums, uh, they reviewed three different Asian guys who wanted help with their look. Obviously, probably in regards to dating, Andrew, we're talking about the E-Boy, the Jolly PhD, and the Anime All-Star. And of course, Reddit is composed of like hundreds of thousands of people weighing in this piece of advice, that piece of advice. Yeah, and the reason why we make these videos is not to call anybody out or make fun of anybody. Absolutely not. But also, we just... Think Think that generally these types of conversations maybe don't happen amongst Asian guys enough because I just look at this like we're reviewing game tape or like mm. offensive schemes and defensive schemes that we've seen in sports and soccer or basketball. Film any, room. Yeah, any any team sport, football even. So it's just like you're just reviewing game tape and reviewing your players. Yeah. So that, that's all this is. I agree with you, and I'm not saying every family isn't different. Everybody's situation, some people got cousins, some people don't got cousins. But it's like, I just feel like the Asian American community, because everybody came here and, and was just so focused on surviving, that maybe some of the bro coaching for social life things and these sort of uh, micro details kind of got overlooked. Possibly. Yeah, I think there's a reason for that. So anyways, guys, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys and check out Smala Sauce. It is our very own finishing oil. It's very uh, kind of spicy, a lot of aromatics, very delicious. Check it out, smallasauce.com. All right, the first guy is the E-boy, Andrew. This guy, he said he's 15 years old. I think he lives somewhere in the Midwest, and he was saying that a group of males and females were calling him very feminine looking. It crushed his confidence. He had to go to Asian Reddit to sort of like just ask people like, what should I do? Am I, do I look feminine? Is that, is that bad? Is it good? Like what's going on? He's clearly kind of lost. Yeah. So right off the bat, David, you'd say if he's 15, 16 years old, he's got a lot of time. Yes. He's got a lot of time to change and he's in his formative years. So while that might be somewhat of a traumatic experience, finding that out that, wow, the world kind of views me this way, which he kind of is viewed that way, I would agree. But I guess that he has time to work with it or change. Yeah, he could jujitsu it. He could judo on it. He could double down. He could go away from it. Uh, when you're 15, your life is like very, very, very far. You're not, you're not far enough on any path down the lane where you can't make a switch. Exactly. So the very first comment was, you do look feminine. You look just like this e-boy meme. Yeah, like an e-boy, pretty boy. It's <laughs> he crazy. Exactly he, look, he looks about like a he nine looks, out of ten. He match. does. Yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm not joking on. It. I'm just saying he does look. That's a hilarious comment. Somebody said, "Yeah, you do look like this meme." So either double down on it and go for some hot alt girls who are into that if you can find them in your neighborhood, or change up your hairstyle and hit the gym. Somebody said that Edward Scissorhands look is doing you no favors and it does not make you look happy. But somebody mm. said, "I don't know, guys. People are into this look nowadays. At least." A growing niche of yeah. women. So my thing for him is that since that is a niche look and it does work in some niches, but it's like, is that the niche he wants to be in? What, does he have access to that niche? And, and what type of world does he want to be in? I would generally say, like, if this guy has not joined any sort of team sports yet in his life, I would say definitely recommend trying out a martial arts gym which is actually an individual sport, not a team sport totally, but, or play a team sport somehow, like in high school, just join it, right. like one of the non-cut, non-tryout sports. Just do it, because I think a lot of it's gonna come down to his personality. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as martial arts training, though, sometimes the, the, the physical training is group training. Right, right, yeah, right. Even though it's obviously yes, the very, workouts very are group. But anyways, just be around other people and develop your personality because I think at 15, he's so young, he still has room to yeah. grow his personality. If he was 35 years old, it's a little tougher. You know what was a shame, though, is, uh, and this is sort of the main point of the video. We're going to get into the advice again. But, like, he was saying he has an older brother, but he doesn't get any advice from him. Mm. And that to, goes back to the original right. point of why we had to make this video. It really actually bothered me when he said yeah. that. You know what it is? I'll say this. Uh... Having an older brother or older cousin, it doesn't mean that they have to have all the right answers, but that if you guys work together and at least share information and share discussion, that's going to help a lot. Yeah. So if you're not communicating with your cousin, brother, or male figure, or whatever it is about this stuff, it is true you are missing out on at least the conversation and the ability to figure things yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got to say, Andrew, we did have uh, like a close family friend who was actually half- Irish and half Chinese give yeah. us a lot of bro coaching growing yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah. shout out to John. I always want to uh, shout that out. Um, Justin Bieber, Harry Styles, and just about any teen idol also look pretty feminine. You learn to use your attributes to your advantage. Somebody said K-pop. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that this guy should do? Because he's not really well, working with bad cards, yeah. right? Because he looks like the E-boy meme. There are E-girls, but it's a matter of like, does he got to go on Omegle to find them? Or like, how does, because he's in the Midwest. He, his world might just be like his middle school or his high school. He doesn't know how to search the globe yet. Because that's something uh, people do when they get older. Yeah. I mean, work on yourself, but also what, what is he into? We don't know anything about his personality. So when it comes to it, is he really into anime or is, is he really into sports? He probably isn't really into sports, but it, what is he into? Figure that out. And then probably for college, if he can, maybe go to a, the big city, whether that's the big city in the Midwest or at least one of the coastal cities, right, for school, if that's possible. You know what I mean? And then, like, it's okay to move. It's okay to say, like, hey, this environment that I grew up in is maybe not prime for me. But you have to understand who you are first. Right. Somebody said, you're just 15. Relax, bro. You got the rest of your life ahead of you. You just need to eat right, exercise, get enough sleep so you can get your natural testosterone production all the way up. And then just go to, like, somewhat of a more expensive barber that... It's probably Asian, right? Like a 12 Pell is going to be able to break yeah. down exactly scientifically what he should get and yeah. give him like three options. Um, do you think this, this is the last thing I'll say about the E-boy. It's harder to be 15 now, Andrew, than it used to be because there's 15-year-olds that are popping on TikTok, making $3 million a year, living the life mm. of like a superstar. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And it's like kind of putting a lot of pressure on people a lot younger than the old days or even like 10 years ago. Oh, maybe, man. Yeah. No, I, I could see... I. Yeah, I got to talk to some more 16-year-olds about this. I guess I got to ask them because I don't know fully. I, I'll tell you this. The more and more I learn about the social media era, like, f that in, and in how it regards to, like, people who are there in, in their teens right now, the more glad I am that I'm not from that era. Oh, good point. M moving on to number two, Andrew, we've got the Jolly PhD. This mm. guy's 26 years old. Right now, he's a registered nurse. He's going for his PhD right now. He's got a lot of smiley photos, and he was, like, basically saying, yo, man, I'm not doing anything on Hinge right now. Well, when you say PhD, or you mean... uh doctor doctorate uh, i don't know doctorate. i mean if, I think i'm sure it's something degree. relating I feel to like his he's... field it's not like a history phd right right it would make sense that he's trying to be a doctor but anyways um yeah let's take a look at his pictures uh very good smile good energy he's catholic i think he's filipino filipino I, I, hey filipinos always radiate that good dude, energy he though. got a filipino vibe he's probably filipino he likes to cook he 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 does be out there with his uh hawaiian shirt i think this guy can definitely find a girlfriend. I think that, that, you know, it's going to be more based on his personality. Right. And I don't think that it, it all depends on people's expectations, right? Like, is he trying to casually date a lot and hook up with cute chicks? You know, that's really, that's hard. You're talking about the the F boy or quasi F boy. Yeah, that's lifestyle. a very like don't not everybody. And clearly, he's. Really, I mean, even the dog he has, that's a dope dog, but that's not an F boy dog. Right, right. You know what right. I mean? So he clearly in his, the choices, the micro choices in his so, life are not aligned with like trying to achieve that lifestyle. And I don't think he is, to be honest. But um, somebody just said, man, the lifestyle you convey is kind of boring. There's no <laughs> sex appeal. And someone said, bro, your drip is actually Kirk, Kirkland signature drip. Wow. Which is the Costco brand, obviously, the generics. Uh, actually, their white tee is pretty decent, but you kind of got to be stocky to fill them out. Um, somebody was just saying, man, I don't like the gym selfie pics unless you're, like, super buff. And someone said, yeah, gym selfies and all these, like, bathroom selfies, they only work if you're, like, a super Chad. Only work, but only work for who? I feel like that, obviously, there's a lot of girls who are not going to be impressed by that, but then... Isn't there some who are going to see his, like, smile and his ambition and that he's, he's like, a nice guy and see, like, a good boyfriend in but him? Yes, yes, but maybe not on Hinge and maybe not the city that he's got his Hinge location Yo, in. He might have to try Coffee Meets Bagel because Coffee Meets Bagel is more for more serious daters. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, listen, man. There's different, like, apps. It's almost like, okay, if you go to the used car lot full of used exotics so you can get, like, an M3 with 45,000 miles on it just because you want to be in an M3, that's a completely different situation than going to, you know, a different car lot where they only sell the cars with 100,000-mile warranties, but it doesn't feel as, you know, exhilarating. It just depends, man. Yeah, guys, I think that even with dating apps, Hinge is, like, a pretty solid one, but... But even consider things like Coffee Meets Big. It's like each app is a little different is what I'm yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. Different demographic, different Let's just user say base. my friends 
who got tattoos, they use Tinder a lot. Oh my goodness, man. That's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother post. Somebody said, on first impression, it's a dating app profile, bro, not a LinkedIn account. So why are you just like saying everything? You're just listing everything out, literally like you're trying to go on a job interview. Well, I think he's going to get, I think there's girls who are going to appreciate that. But yeah, I could see tuning the focus a little away from that. Somebody said, you know, the only things that work for Asian guys in 2023 are a refined K-pop-ish style or a manly or rough around the edges style. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, I've seen people mix the two, by the way. Jungkook is like mixing the two right now. Here's the thing. Assuming he's Filipino because he, he doesn't look like fully East Asian, right? So I think that he is a little bit, he can kind of play around with the Latino side of things yes, a little yes. bit more. Which I think it's very limiting to say, oh, only Asian guys. Because I'm like, well, Asian guys have different looks to them. Like, yeah, if you're very East Asian looking, the simple answer is refined K-pop or masculine or like wear a suit right. or something Those are like the that. simplest two sentence answers. Right, right for now. like East Asian, Asiatic looking guys. But I'm saying if you can kind of be ambiguously ethnic, then you can play around more with like the Latin vibe. Yeah, he does got some big biceps. Somebody said, uh, you seem like a nice guy, like a total nice guy who never gets the girl type of vibe. Um, basically, this guy was just like saying, man, you just scream harmless Asian guy stereotype. I'm not with, like, this is never going to work in America in 2023. Mm. Agree or disagree? Like, it, it just obviously, if he's out there trying to, just get a bunch of cute girls. Like, this profile's, like, super not going to work. Yeah, but, I mean, dude, that's not even about... I feel like he's looking for... He said he's looking for a life partner. He's looking for something long-term. I would almost say hit up, like, a... First of all, you're still going to have to change, you know, do some upgrades and stuff like that, but uh, go to, like, almost like a matchmaker or something like that. Like, obviously... Whatever, there's different uh, sites, there's different things, yeah. A few notches towards that. Somebody said, uh, hey man, for me, I'm a nerdy tech Asian guy and I used to get no matches. Here's my old profile. In one year, I was able to level up. Here's my new profile and I'm doing way better. No, his glow up's real. I can see a, a real difference. Yeah, shout out to this guy. I mean, this even, guy kind of figured it out, right? Even the pictures and just like the way, the, the depth of feel on these pictures is, is definitely higher end. It oh. looks like his life got better. And this guy says, man, I don't really like the advice that you get on this forum because it's so stereotypically masculine. Maybe this guy should not be trying to like be alpha or anything, but he just needs to double down on his lane. What does double down on his lane mean? Uh, what does that look like? I'm not saying he's wrong because I, I think that I can agree with part of that because I don't think all advice is the same, but I think that I do think getting fit in those things, that's not... That's not really bad advice for anybody. Yeah, I would almost say it's like Kenny Lofton Jr. If you guys know about Kenny Lofton Jr. in the NBA, he is the only person with his body type. That, like that body type was even rare in the 90s, but Oliver Miller had it and stuff like that. But he's somehow able to make it work, right? And Andrew, Kenny Lofton Jr. trying to get super vertical with it and jump super high, that wouldn't have worked either, right? He's like doubling down on just bumping You're people. You're saying... Kenny Lofton Jr. looking at this guy, he shouldn't just drop all the weight and become as lean as possible because that's going to actually take away from how he usually plays and his advantages. Right. And he's like not even going to make a good version of a lean guy. Right. Because he's so right, naturally right. fat, to be honest. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, but ultimately, no, nah, I mean, this guy has a good disposition, man. He's super jolly and happy I, and seems friendly. Let's be honest, Andrew. I think he should definitely take a look at the Philippines or, or just, or, or anywhere in Asia in general. Yeah. I and I'm not saying like get a mail order bride or anything like that. I'm just saying like, look overseas. Cause I think that in 2023, unfortunately you could say it's right or wrong or just the natural progression of late, late, late stage capitalism and the culture of where it's at right now. Women in America like a lot of edge and he doesn't have any edge, right? Like it almost seems like a youth pastor more vibe from the 90s yeah i mean i think that who knows maybe he is born in the philippines you know and i think maybe yeah but you know an what i'm saying like a woman and, and, overseas uh, may appreciate that seventh heaven like yeah, almost immigrants like, uh will appreciate different things um moving on andrew the last guy we got is the anime all-star Ooh, i'm okay. gonna compare this guy to mikhail bridges or cam johnson in the sense of like man he's working with a lot but it still needs more explosion, needs more ISO moves, needs more wiggles to make that next jump to all-star. Right. Why? Why is that? Because, what is he uh, missing? Uh, he, looks, I, he looks pretty good, to be yes, honest. Yes. This guy is considered a, I would consider him like a short Chad in the sense of like- Anime Chad. Yeah, yeah. Like anime Chad. Like yeah. if he goes to the cosplay world, he got his pick, right? I know a couple guys like this. Yeah. yeah. But got then, the tattoos, but they're not like thugs. 
Right, right, right. Even though I would say the tattoos that he has, they're probably a little bit more street than he is in real life. Possibly, yeah. So, um, long story short, he was basically asking about, like, what hair should I get to try to convey who I am? And he posted a bunch of photos of, like, anime characters. And somebody was like, yeah, uh, I'm not going to lie. You don't really need any help. Do you think guys like this, they need help or they don't? I, but I'm saying, like, if you look at a player like Mikhail Bridges, like, yes, he's still pretty good. He's making, like, $30 million a year. He could still get better at a lot of things. Yeah, I would say, in my opinion, if I was going to improve this guy, which I actually don't think he needs that much help, that that's the truth. But just visually speaking, as I mean, I don't know his personality. Maybe his personality needs help. But I would say a longer hair would give it a different vibe with the tattoos. If you got a longer hair and perms, first of all, growing out your hair takes like a year, to be honest to a long length. It really takes a very long time. So it's a long commitment. I wouldn't do this like anime hair particularly. I would do this more curly hair for him. And I think that would switch up his vibe because that's going to give him more of that rock star, almost like Latino vibe right? to an Asian guy, which is different. And that's edgy. Now, Again. But he may not be able to live up to it because if we look at the samples of everybody posting the perm wolf cut, to me, this is a cut that really works probably for Southeast Asian guys a little bit better. Nah. And that people who can really embody that sort of like ride on the wild side thing. Yeah, but it, I mean, again, yeah, it's pers his personality. I don't know if he's just like a nice guy in finance, but he's got a little bit more edge than him even already having those tattoos and being in finance is to be honest, already edgy. Right, and you're already limited if you work in an office place by what haircut you can get. You need yeah. to be on Zoom in the morning. You can't have yeah. the wolf cut. Like, yeah, so I don't really know. I mean, I would just say he's doing okay and like, you know, just keep... He probably needs to get haircuts just more frequently, to be honest. Right. Hey, listen, guys, what, follow 12 Pell. 12 Pell does these breakdown videos on Instagram. Very Where they basically like analyze people's like head shapes and like their desires and what sort of uh, subcultures they identify with and then give you like one yeah. or two options. For sure, for sure. I guess, David, so we saw three different guys at different levels. We saw what the internet said. We saw what the other bros on the internet said. Overall, do you like the advice and what other things would you add? Overall, I like the advice and I would just really quickly, you know, because I'm kind of, you know, NBA season is on right now. I, this is what I would compare it to. The E-boy, Andrew, he's kind of like Duncan Robinson when Duncan Robinson was still stuck in D3 basketball. Nobody knew that Duncan Robinson had the potential to be like an NBA starter and make mm. that much money when he was in D3, right? Because Duncan wow. Robinson had a crazy journey. He had to transfer from D3 to D1, go to G League, go to the NBA. Right. So I'm saying he has the potential because he can shoot. Being shoot, uh, when I mean that he can shoot, it's like he has a niche and a cultural gap of the e-boy that he can shoot. Right, right, right. And it's a growing niche. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that Duncan Robinson is like the most dominant player in history, mm -hmm. but it's just like a growing thing that people want in the society. Right, the tall 3 and D... Yeah, just a yeah, shooter. Yeah, just a shooter, 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 sharp shooter. I would say the next guy, he's almost like Kenny Lofton Jr. because he just got to find the right team with the right fit, whether it's overseas or in America, in the sense that it's like, it's pro not every team wants Kenny Lofton no, Jr. No, but, but he's, he has decent cards and he has good ambition, but possibly his value may be maximized amongst a different group. Right, right, right. It's going to be like, uh, I think Kenny Lofton Jr. ultimately probably will have an amazing career yeah, I think like a, yeah. And the last guy, Andrew, I'm going to compare him to Mikhail Bridges, Franz Wagner, Evan Mobley, guys that people are like, yo, this guy could be so good if he just was able to uh, pick up more of the superstar details, mm, which okay. is, uh, yeah. So I think that everybody's starting at a different point, you know, uh, like I said, uh, as far as like an Asian guy dating NBA player comparison, I always said I was like TJ McConnell. Yeah. I ain't got the best stats, I, but it's just like I got the IQ reads, you know. I, I like I like what you said, man. It's like for me, I guess I'd sum it up. The E boy has potential, but he's young and just needs to be on right the right track. And then the middle guy needs to find his niche and needs to know what he's looking for and find who appreciates him because he does have something to offer for sure. And then the last guy is more like polishing. Yeah, he just needs to polish some details. So anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think. These are three different Asian guys in different situations. What do you think of our advice? What are some advice that you would have for these people? And hopefully this, all these videos just also turn into, I guess, somewhat of a message board themselves. People just sound off and say how they feel and what they did to get better because I think at the end of the day, we're all just trying to have a healthy discussion about getting better. Yeah. You know Are you I mean? surprised in 2023 that this many people still... I guess are missing that 
IRL in person bro coaching? No, because there's there's less relation there's less friendships and relationships out there. There's maybe Everybody, less everything's mentoring. more internet centric. But people right? are finding more mentoring more mentorship on the internet, so that's why videos like ours or or a bunch of other videos out there also will give you breakdowns as well. But it's important to have these kind of like discussions man anyways guys let us know in the comments down below what you think check out small ass sauce very delicious finishing oil uh cool looking bottle too thank you so much for watching and until next time we out peace, peace.